Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So check it out, if anybody is in the market for a Dodge Charger, 2014 Dodge Charger, I think it has 112,000 miles on it. I'm not sure, I have to put that in the description. But it's an ex-highway patrol car. It's in great shape. I bought it from the auction. I was gonna flip it. And what happened was when I first put it out there, some people responded, one guy, that was interested that I was going back and forth with. I had decided on him and then he was telling me that he was trying to win a car from an auction as well. Then I told him how to, how I wanted to be, how I think I wanted to be and what to do. So then I said, they got another auction next weekend. Why don't you just wait and see? Cause otherwise he was going to pay. I'm selling it at retail, obviously. So since he already knew about the auction and he had tried and just hadn't won it. And this was his last resort. I was like, well, try this method and then you can get it at a better deal because he was trying to talk me down. I was like, hey, I'm not going lower. I bought it to sell it at a profit, you know, and that's what he did. And he, of course, he won the auction. So then I couldn't sell it to him. But by then I got some different stuff going on. So I, I, I never and actually I had another idea. I was like, OK. By the time I got around to getting ready to put it out there, I was like, I had an idea. Uh, why don't I give the car a persona? Why don't I tell this story? And why don't I give it a name? And why don't I build a website? And why don't I create a video and several videos and a YouTube and Instagram, Facebook and all that and Twitter and then sell it to someone else and, 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 and possibly create an LLC around all of that. And it'll be a media company and sell the business as opposed to the car. That was the idea. But I got 20 things going on. I always have ideas. I wake up in the middle of the night with ideas, so I can't possibly pursue them all. By the way, I, no, I'm not going into that. That is a warning to you. I was going to say this is part of a training that I'm working on. Recognizes some of the mistakes they've made. And so I'll pass this on to you right now. This is supposed to be about trying to sell the car, but I'm going to tell you this. Do not spread yourself too thin. <sighs> got to stop by the lawn. I said them who I'm going to be mad at. Look, all right, so those two options. So, and that's the lesson. Do not spread yourself too thin. Work on the project, complete the project before you move on to something else. What was the second thing? I don't even, oh, the second thing was if you can afford it and if you're in a position to work on getting together a team. Now let's get back to the car. Basically, this is why I still have the car. <laughs> but I did end up hiring someone to do animation and create a video for the car. Now that was supposed to take a month and that ended up taking, now that was supposed to take, uh, I think two weeks that ended up taking two months and me being who I am and doing 10 other things. I didn't really stay on them like that. It would be like, uh, you know, I fell a little behind. My mom got sick, this, that, I'm like, yeah, no problem. It's all good. Uh, I, mean, I wanted to add this to the story anyway. Let's go here and go there. So anyway, it ended up taking two months. And by then, like I said, other stuff was stacked on. And by then, my time is completed. Now it's the summertime. When I started this January, February, when the demand was higher because everybody got income tax checks. So now I'm like, man, I'll wait till next January, February, because right now everybody, you know, it'll be much higher demand if I wait till January, February, and, and I get to ride, drive the car a little bit. And so, of course, what happens then by January and February? 10 other things I'm, I'm, I'm doing, right? So bottom line is I still have the car. I'm coming to terms, and not only that, you never believe. It. I decided to do the same thing with the Toyota. I'm going to show you all the video, don't worry. Same thing with the Toyota. I already built the website, I already made a couple of videos. Show you that if you want it, want to see it. It's not an animation, but it's a different version of the video. I'm telling you, that's why I got to get a team. Now. But anyway, um, of course, this is going, that's going to be an opportunity for you, and I'll talk about that another time as well. Uh, what was I getting ready to say? I'm so excited. And I'm about to go down another rabbit hole in a minute that's related to this shirt. You see how much space in this shirt? You know why this shirt is so big? That's how much weight I lost. This shirt is a few years old. No, this shirt is five years old. This shirt is older than that. But uh, weight loss challenge. That's what we got going on. Stay tuned. Join up.
I'll probably do the website today. I had a domain name since when? I don't know, beginning of the year. What was I getting ready to say? So you have the opportunity to buy this Dodge Charger before I put it out there. I am gonna go ahead on and put that thing on the marketplace. I'm gonna put the video out there. I'll probably promote the video on the internet. You might see it uh, sometime this week to see what happens. So if you're interested, just go to the link at the bottom. Did I tell you? But I'm going to get another domain name today. It was available. It might still be available. And here's the thing with this domain name. It already has people. It already has people searching for the phrase. 100 to 1,000 people a month. I can't remember the number, but people are searching for the phrase. So this is automatic traffic. It should be pretty easy to rank for. It's low competition. And the term is use charger for sale now think about that people who are searching for used charger for sale are looking for used chargers for sale if you have that domain name and you got a site build on it and it's already got some traffic who would be interested in buying that domain used car dealerships uh toyota mechanics might be interested you know so those are just some ideas off the top of the dome. So I might give you that domain too, if you're wanting to pay for it. It's digital real estate. You can easily see the value in this. If you pay a thousand dollars for a used Toyota, if you paid a thousand dollars for used chargers for sale.com, and then you build out a website, put a form on it to collect email address from people who are interested in the car. So now you have a list of buyers. You don't think a dealership will be interested in buying that site? You think they would give you more than $1,000 for it? When it could mean selling multiple chargers and bringing in eyeballs on the lot and other vehicles in addition to chargers? The answer is yes. The charming landscapes of North Carolina's rolling hills a gray Dodge Charger by the name of Fuzzy lit up the roads with its lively spirit and quirky personality. Fuzzy wasn't just any car, it was a former highway patrol hero, bringing smiles and adventure to the open highways. Picture this, a gray Charger zipping along with an air of confidence, authority, and respect. But this wasn't your typical stern law enforcer. Fuzzy had a twinkle in its headlights and a mischievous Hemi engine purr that set it apart. Its driver was known to be upstanding and fair. Maybe Fuzzy inspired him. Maybe he was just that awesome. I digress. From the get-go, Fuzzy was a chosen one, hand-picked. With its black hubcaps, it brought a touch of good humor to the serious business of maintaining order. As Fuzzy patrolled, its engine revved with excitement. Ready to leap into action, it put a smile on everyone's face. Except the lawbreakers, of course. I digress. Fuzzy wasn't chasing speeders. It was chasing the thrill of the open road. And oh, the stories Fuzzy collected. Its gray coat told tales of encounters with curious critters and impromptu dance parties at roadside stops. Those dings and scratches were like souvenirs from a rollicking road trip with friends. Fuzzy's playful heart was its badge of honor, proudly worn on its grill. But as the sun set on its patrol days, Fuzzy wasn't ready to retire into the sunset. It craved a new adventure, a new way to spread joy and laughter. As fate would have it, at the state auction, it was rescued by a picky chooser who recognized its beauty and significance. He wanted Fuzzy to be acknowledged and appreciated. A young man named Hervey won highest bid. He gave Fuzzy the name for new life. Enter social media, yes. the virtual playground where Fuzzy's story truly came alive. With photos that showcased Fuzzy's charismatic gray charm against the backdrop of North Carolina's beauty, followers couldn't help but fall in love. Fuzzy became an internet sensation, a four-wheeled influencer with a heartwarming twist. Fuzzy's quirky features like the missing center console and black hubcap might be talking points for passengers and the curious walking by. And with no patrol light or spotlight mirror, still Fuzzy gets double takes for those overly concerned about racing a yellow light and losing. But relax, those days are long gone. 
As Fuzzy's story unfolded online, followers were enchanted. They imagined Fuzzy's wild adventures, from impromptu picnics to dance-offs at red lights. Fuzzy wasn't just a car, it was a character, a gray blur of happiness cruising through life. And so, Fuzzy's tale continues, a gray charger named Fuzzy ready for its next escapade. Will it be a new owner who appreciates quality and character, or will it be a new makeover and mission? Only time will tell. With a wink of its headlights and a rev of its mischievous engine, Fuzzy stands as a reminder that cars can be more than machines. They can be companions on a journey filled with laughter, adventure, and endless fun. If you want to keep track of what's next for Fuzzy, subscribe for updates. What customizations should Hervey do to this Dodge Charger? Put it in the comments, <laughs> and let's have some fun.